Welcome back to the presentation on classical geometric construction of full number anchors in general. Again, the domain of classical construction of all the full number anchors. In this video, I'm going to show how to construct an anchor of magnitude 40 degrees and the corresponding anchor of 140. Straight away, we'll go to the GeoGebra software and perform the construction. To start with, I have to prepare and raise the necessary tools for using this construction. Depend on that first, and then uh, the compass tool possibly could do some geometric transformations. So straight away, I start by drawing a straight line. That's the baseline for initiating my construction, and let's be a bit clear. I need to set the coordinates for this demo, not just that because they are very important, but purposely for demonstration. As I said, I'm not depending on the coordinates for any kind of results. Is that clear? Next, I'll construct a point C that is equidistant between these two points as we've done in the previous videos. And I'm going to move past here now. That way. That's the point C. That's the distance between the two points A and B. Next, I join A to C. Sorry, B to C. And I'll get the code BC. We automatically have the curve BC as required from Alex's method. Next, I'll use this tool to bisect this chord into two equal parts. Or to divide it into two equal parts through bisection. And I have it. I'll use the labeling tool to label these points of intersections as D and T respectively. Next, I'll call the anchor bisector or bisection tool to help me divide this anchor into two equal parts and I get it there. Next, I use the labeling tool to help me label this point as point F. I'm required to go further and bisect anchor E, D, F using the anchor bisect tool. I will zoom in the figure so that I can accurately label this point of intersection between the bisection and the curve EF as point G, D3. Now I mean my appearance, I mean the figure for good view. Now with that, I'm able now to generate 20, usually starting by construction of 32. And for me to get 32, I'm going to use the compass tool and with point E as the center, I make an arc that, ca that cuts the curve EC at a point H. Before labeling the point H, allow me to change the appearance of this one into that. So I'm going to use this labeling tool to label here as point H. Next, I'm going to use the compass tool to cut the code DG and label here as point I, but before that I need to change the appearance of that. So I'm going to zoom in slightly so that I can accurately label this point I. So I come after magnification, carry the labeling tool level here as point I. Again I zoom out the figure to get back my figure, the initial appearance. I would like to move it slightly so that I have a good view for the points. Next I'm going to bisect anchor I, A, B and change the color of this again to a different one. I'll use the labeling tool to label this point of intersection between the bisector and the curve BF as point J. Next, I'm going to bisect using this tool again, then go bisector and call JAB. I want to generate a point K. So I label this point of intersection as the point K. Now I go to point K, that should be 80 degrees. You can measure, optimize the value through measurement. And that's exactly 80 degrees. So I'm going to use the compass tool to carry the code subsetting the 8 degrees, that's called KB. And with the point C as my center, I make an arc that cuts the curve HC at a point L that way. For better view, I'll change the appearance of this into that blue. Right, onto that color. Now the difference between L and H. 
is an angle of 20 degrees subtended at the center A. Before we do that, I'm going to perform some geometric transformations. I need to map the point B into point B prime about point A. Sorry, not well highlighted. I pick it again. I want point B about point A to give me B prime and get his. So next I'm going to carry that code subtending the 20 degrees as we have seen in the previous presentations. That's L I and with the point B prime as my center, I make an arc that cuts the curve B prime C at a point here. I label the point, but before that, change this to that. So I'm going to label this point of intersection between the curve and this arc as point M. I'll use the straight line to join point M to A that way. And I change the appearance of this again into a different color. I can pick that. I'll perform a bisection of the angle MAB prime. Sorry, no, no, no need of bisection this time around. I actually need to stroke this curve along the circumference here. And I, there was also need of this line because I want to generate 20, so I delete it. I mean 40, so I delete it. What I'm going to do is to modify this code that way along that curve. That. And it gives me another point I'm interested in. The goal was to show the construction of 40 degrees. So I put it in that color and now label here this point as point N. I will now use a straight line to join point N into A. I can change this one now into that. Let it be that. Now I use the ankle measure tool to determine the value of the ankle in AB prime. It gives me 40 degrees. The corresponding ankle in AB should be 140 degrees. Again, I can construct 70 from here. So there are so many ways to play with Alex's theorem to generate any ankle we need, any whole number ankle we need. That's how simple it is. I would magnify these ankles again to see how they appear in around five decimal places, 8.0000, 8 8.0000, 39.99679, 140.003. Oh, it's interesting. By default, the GeoGebra software is giving us at two decimal places and that's acceptable conventionally. So again, I'll uh, comment, as I've said in the previous video, Alex's theorem is very geometrically accurate. The, the, the fact that I'm magnifying the accuracy, that's not geometrical. The thing is, is the logic correct? Can it be proven to be geometrically correct? And I'll prove that in some other series of videos. But the magnification here is to show people how accurate it is. It's not just one decimal place. We are getting 8.0003. That's the best. Thank you for viewing this uh, video. In the next tutorial um, or video, I'm going to show how to construct an angle of uh, 33 degrees, 147, 68, and so on. I hope you're enjoying the process. Thank you once again for viewing. Please remember to subscribe.